Well, you may start seeing more and more of them around town. Driver alert signs installed on the back of stop signs throughout the valley. News 41's Chase Shropshire has details. Well, I'm here at the corner of Barney and Charleston Park, and there's a peculiar looking sign behind me. You may have never seen it before, and there's a good reason for that. It's the first of its kind in the world. We're going to speak with the brainchild of it, Vaughn Thomas. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of a funny thing. My, my son was run over uh, in Los Angeles when we were living there, and um, it was in a badly marked intersection. And we went back to the site and took a look at it, and we realized that there was a, a blank sign across the street that the guy had not recognized as a stop sign because the regular stop sign was blocked. It was a big tree, pretty much like that one over there, covering up the tree. Couldn't see it, came around the corner, ran my son over, and then proceeded to leave. But uh, the important part of it was my, my son wasn't that badly hurt, and uh, you know it, uh, it, it took us off of our normal path and to start making an attempt to present this as a possible safety measure for the country. And so you've taken the next few years um, developing this new sign, and uh, uh, can you tell us how it's all come together? Well, the, the, the big turning points have been, you know, congressional members, of, you know, in California were very helpful. Senator Reid's office, Senator Ensign's office have sent very flattering letters supporting, you know, you guys are working hard, you know, you got to prove it. You can't just put it on the streets. So we've done a lot of testing, a lot of theoretical stuff. We're partnered with the universities in Nevada here. We're also partnered with the 3M company. So we bring a lot of professional people in the industry, traffic engineering, science guys, and we... We present it to them and they tell us, well, this could be better, that could be worse. And we got to the point now where we're ready to put it on the street. Well, for the folks at home, can we explain uh, what this sign does? It actually goes on the back of the stop sign. It doesn't replace the stop sign, does it? No, it's a supplementary. The idea is the stop sign has been um, neglected in a lot of ways. We've all seen stop signs so many times that we, we tend to wait for the bus to pass. <laughs> but we tend to, uh, you know, ignore it in a lot of cases, take it for granted. What this does... In the worst scenario, when a truck or a, a tree or a bus blocks the sign, this sign is completely visible across the street. So it's a reminder that there's a stop sign present somewhere. Uh, you know, those are the worst ones. In the best case scenario, it can be seen down the block for just a long distance. It's highly reflective, uses special materials, and uh, it gives the driver a double advantage. You know, there's the stop, there's the stop sign support system, there's a street there, and people are going to be traveling, especially in this one. This is the two-way, shows the green. These guys are going to be traveling fast, and that's the most dangerous, which is why we started with it. It's the most dangerous. And we do have a two-way and a four-way stop sign. Here, obviously, we have the two-way put up, but you will have four-ways being put up yeah, as well. Yeah, as soon as the two-way uh, finds acceptance. We don't want to jump the fence and get on to another discussion because the four-way has lots of other problems, left-hand turn problems. You've got four left-hand turns instead of two and things like that. Well, it is a work in progress. Well, thank you very much, Vaughn Thomas, for talking Appreciate with us today. Thank you for your time. I'm Chase Shropshire for News 41.